Welcome to the Prepper Almanac, your ultimate guide to survival. Thank you for joining us today. Your presence here is deeply appreciated. In today's video, we are going to delve into the essentials of survival, what every prepper needs to start with and gather for when the going gets tough. If you find value in today's video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support fuels our mission to prepare you for any survival scenario. Make sure you stick around till the end of the video and share your thoughts or questions in the comment section below. Today's focus is on being prepared for any eventuality, be it an economic collapse, a major long-term disaster, or a general collapse of society. Let's dive right in, starting with the foundation of survival. Imagine yourself in a situation of economic collapse or a major long-term disaster. The first thing you'll need to survive is water. Water is the lifeblood of survival. It's not just for quenching your thirst, you need it for cooking, cleaning, and even first aid. But during a disaster, clean and safe water can be hard to come by. That's where proper water storage comes in. A good rule of thumb is to store at least one gallon of water per person per day. And remember, you're not just planning for a day or two. Ideally, you should have a two-week supply on hand. Storing water isn't as simple as filling up a jug and stashing it in a closet. You need to make sure it's stored in a cool, dark place away from chemicals and direct sunlight. And don't forget to rotate your water supply every six months to keep it fresh. Remember, without water, survival beyond three days becomes increasingly difficult. Next to water, food is your primary concern. You can survive weeks without it, but why risk it? Now let's talk about the importance of having a stockpile of non-perishable food items. When it comes to survival, you want to ensure you're prepared with a variety of foods that won't spoil. Think canned goods, dried fruits, and grains. These items can last for years if stored properly, providing you with a reliable source of nourishment in a pinch. Don't forget about protein-packed foods like beans and nuts, and remember to include comfort foods like chocolate or coffee. They can provide a morale boost during tough times. When you're storing these foods, it's crucial to keep them in a cool, dark, and dry place. Proper storage can significantly extend their shelf life and keep your food safe to eat. And remember, rotate your stockpile regularly to ensure nothing goes to waste. A well-stocked pantry can mean the difference between survival and starvation. In any disaster situation, injuries are a possibility. A first aid kit is a must-have. Just as you wouldn't embark on a journey without a map, you should never venture into the realm of survival without a first aid kit. It's the cornerstone of safety, the first line of defense against the unpredictability of the world around us. Imagine a scenario where you or a loved one gets a cut or a burn. Without proper care, these minor injuries can quickly escalate into major problems. That's where a well-stocked first aid kit comes in. It should contain bandages, antiseptic wipes, tweezers, medical tape, a digital thermometer, and pain relievers, among other essentials. Don't forget about prescription medications and specific medical needs for those in your group. Customize your kit accordingly. A well-rounded first aid kit is more than just a box of band-aids, it's a lifeline in a crisis. You never know when you'll need it, but when you do, you'll be glad you have it. Shelter is essential for survival. Whether it's a tarp, a tent, or a solar oven, you'll need something to protect you from the elements. Imagine the comfort and security of your home. Now imagine creating that in the wild, in the middle of nowhere. It might seem impossible at first, but with the right tools and materials, it's entirely doable. Let's start with the basics. A multi-purpose knife, the Swiss Army knife of survival, is a must-have. It isn't just a knife, it's a can opener, a screwdriver, and even a makeshift spear. It's your best friend when it comes to surviving in the wilderness. Next, you'll need batteries and a flashlight. When darkness falls, you'll want to have a reliable source of light. 
Plus, batteries can power other essential tools like your one-way NOAA radio or two-way ham radio, which keeps you connected to the outside world, gets you weather updates, and helps you call for help if needed. Ropes and duct tape may seem mundane, but they're incredibly useful. You can use ropes for building shelters, setting up traps, or even as a makeshift clothesline. Duct tape, on the other hand, can fix almost anything, from patching up your tent to repairing your shoes. A lighter and matches are your gateway to warmth, a hot meal, and a sense of security. Fire can deter wild animals and signal for help if you're lost. Now let's talk about a solar charger. This device harnesses the power of the sun to keep your gadgets charged, which could be life-saving in a survival situation. An axe is another must-have tool. It helps you gather firewood, clear paths, and can even serve as a weapon if needed. Last but not least, a multi-tool. This compact device includes a variety of tools from pliers to bottle openers, making it an invaluable addition to your survival kit. With the right tools and shelter materials, you can create a home away from home. There are a few other items you should consider adding to your survival supplies. Now the first thing that might not immediately come to mind is seeds. But having a variety of seeds on hand allows you to grow your own food, boosting your self-sufficiency. This isn't just about survival, but thriving in the long term. Next, let's talk about camping gear. This includes all the essentials like a sturdy tent, cookware, and a good sleeping bag. A sleeping bag in particular is crucial. It offers you a comfortable sleep in the cold outdoors, conserving your energy for the challenges of the day ahead. Paracord is another must-have. It's incredibly versatile. You can use it for everything from setting up shelters to securing gear, even first aid in emergency situations. A compass is another simple tool that can be a lifesaver. In an environment where GPS might not be reliable, a compass can help you navigate unfamiliar terrains. Cash is also essential. In the early stages of a societal breakdown, cash may still be accepted, giving you the ability to purchase last-minute supplies or services. Eventually, you may have to go to hard assets like gold or silver coins. Water is life, we all know that. But what if your water supply runs out or gets contaminated? That's where a water purification device comes in handy. It allows you to make almost any water source safe to drink. A rocket stove is a compact and efficient cooking device. It requires less fuel than traditional stoves, making it an ideal choice for survival situations. And finally, don't forget your important documents. Copies of your identification, property deeds, insurance policies, and medical records might become invaluable. Keep them in a waterproof container to ensure they stay safe and dry. These items might not be the first things you think of, but they can make your survival much more manageable. So, start gathering these supplies today, your future self will thank you. As we begin to wrap up today's discussion on survival prepping, remember that the key to successful preparation is to start early and be consistent. We've covered a lot of ground today, from the foundation of survival, energy sources, safety, bug-out bags, shelters, and the often overlooked yet vital supplies. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more to learn about prepping, and we're here to help you navigate through it all. If you have any questions about what we've discussed today, or if there are any topics that you would like us to delve into in the future, please let us know in the comment section below. We love to get video ideas from our community. We also value your thoughts on our content. So let us know what you think of today's video. Your input helps us improve and provide the best possible content for our viewers. If you found today's video helpful, be sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. This way, you won't miss out on any of our future videos on prepping. Sharing is caring, so don't forget to share this video with others who may have a passion for prepping or are just starting their journey. And lastly, based on YouTube's algorithm and your viewing history, there's a video being recommended in the top left-hand area of your screen. We think you'll find it interesting, so do check it out. Thank you so much for watching the Prepper Almanac. Stay safe, stay prepared, and we'll see you in the next video.